Oh, I wonder what's going on over there. Oh, hi, I didn't see you there. I'm John Brankus with ESPN Sports Science. Today, I'm gonna to be talking to you about how to shoot a basketball. I'm qualified to talk about this subject because I have a degree in sports science and I have over 30 years of experience analyzing, training, and collecting data on NBA players. Basketball is one of America's favorite pastimes. You can see it being played in your local community park or at your local rec center. And according to author Preston Williams, is the fastest growing sport in the United States. Furthermore, in his book, Full Pro Press, he goes on to say that one in three males has played or is currently playing the sport of basketball. Basketball has three important main areas of focus, passing, dribbling, and shooting. Today, I'm going to be going over shooting. And by the end, you will be able to shoot an NBA jump shot. First, we're going to be going over the prerequisites. The prerequisites are things that you need to play basketball, or basketball, and a basketball hoop. We have just covered the prerequisites, and now we're going to cover the procedures. To do that, I'm going to take you to the lab. Today in the lab, we will be analyzing Tyler Hero. Tyler Hero is one of the most respected NBA guards in the game, as well as one of the best shooters in the NBA. The first step is get your body square to the basket and facing the rim. Here we see Tyler effectively stick his toe into the ground and square his body up to the basket. The next step is to make sure that you have the ball on top of your fingertips. A good way to make sure that you're doing this is to make sure that there's spaces in between the ball and your fingers. The next step is to get your body in triple extension. This means getting in a front stance using your ankles, knees, and hips in the motion of shooting the basketball. Tyler engages his hips, knees, and ankles, activating triple extension. The next step is to get your eyes locked in on the spot on the rim. A good recommendation is to keep your eyes fixed on the front of the rim so that you have a consistent spot to go to whenever you shoot the basketball. According to Anthony Stump in his article, How to Shoot a Basketball, in an interview with, with Stephen Curry, he was quoted as saying, I always try to focus on the front of the rim. That way, I have a consistent spot to go to whenever I'm shooting a three. The next step is to get your body to the line. This means to bring the ball straight up, while also bringing the rest of your body up in a parallel motion along with the ball. Here we see Tyler in perfect alignment, his body moving simultaneously with the ball. The last step is to make sure that you're shooting with your fingertips and not your palms. When you're finishing the shot, make sure that you flick the wrist, leaving the wrist above eye level and towards the basket. Shooting the basketball is a motion that requires constant repetition. According to the NBA's Dwayne Wade in an article with Evan Smith titled, How to Shoot a Basketball, he was quoted as saying, shooting a basketball is a body mechanic that is ingrained in my brain. Through constant practice and repetition, my brain is able to communicate to my body how to shoot a basketball effortless. Previously, we went over the procedure, and now we're gonna be talking about the things to avoid. One of the things to avoid would be flaring the elbow out, as shown here. Flaring the elbow out leads to a decrease in accuracy, as well as a change in direction of the ball. Another thing to avoid would be to push the ball with both hands. According to general manager Jerry Krause of the Bulls, he stated, that the left hand should be used as the off hand or guide hand for the ball, while the shooting hand should primarily be used to do the pushing motion of the ball. In addition, you should avoid trying to have a flat shot. A flat shot decreases the amount of space that the ball has to go into the hoop and leads to more inaccuracy. We have gone over how to shoot a jump shot with a basketball. Shooting is a motion that requires constant practice and repetition. And remember that if you consistently put in hard work and practice, you can become a great shooter.